Hi, back again with me, Krista. And today, we're going to cover you some tips and tricks about how to play animations on your objects. Ready to dig in? Let's go! Just a heads up, actually, for today's episode, you need to have custom 3D objects with animation. So, make sure to import them in the first place on Assembler Studio. I'm gonna use my custom 3D object, Groot, here. So, let's start! As usual, click on Interaction and choose this. And then of course, choose Play Animation. Actually, you can set your target object just like how I did in the previous episode. You can check it if you haven't, but I'm not gonna change the target object for now. So, let's move on to the next step. Let's choose the animation that you want to play. I'll choose this one to make this super adorable Groot dance. After that, you can also set your delay animation and animation speed. For your information, if you choose to set delay animation, once you click on the object, there will be a delay of movement according to the time you've input. For this project, I'm not gonna change anything about this, so let's just keep it as it is. And then the animation speed. The higher the number you input, the faster your animation will play. So you can basically adjust it according to your preference. Moving on to the play mode. Here, you can choose how your animation plays. And there are quite a few options that you can actually choose from. Let me tell you a little bit of it. The first one is the default. If you choose this, your animation will just play just as how it is originally. Next is once. So, if you use this option, your animation just plays once from the beginning until the end. And then loop. Just like its name, your animation will play repeatedly. Yep, it will never stop playing. Then, if you choose ping pong, your animation will keep playing from the beginning until the end, and then backward, and so on. And the last one is clamp forever. For this one, when your animation reaches the end, it will keep playing the last frame. Now that you've understood each of its functions, let's pick one. For me, I'm gonna choose loop. And since I already have everything on set, I'm gonna click done. Now, let's click Preview to have one final check before I publish this project. Ready to see Groot Dance? Let's hit it! Okay, that was quite cute, right? Enough with Groot Dancing, now's the time for me to reveal one example that might be able to inspire you in creating your own project or lesson. So, I'm making this project about American football positions. What I want to do is, every time I click on each person, the person will move according to the positions described on the text here. So, how will it turn out? Let's try it. Okay, that's all then. Thanks for tuning in to all our custom interaction tips and tricks. Stay creative and see you on another tips and trick. Bye-bye!